Well, one key to beating the recession may be finding a way to manage your worries. Our next guest has written a whole book that's dedicated to helping you decrease your stress even when life is challenging. International worry expert and Denver author Ocean Palmer joins us now to share what he's learned by writing his novel, novel Managing the Worry Cycles. Ocean, thanks for coming in this morning. Well, thanks for having me. It's Very interesting book. Thank now, you. how did you become a worry expert, first of all? A uh, long time ago, 20, 25 years ago, I was playing golf with a friend of mine, and he was a non-worrier, and we spent <laughs> quite a bit of time talking about the arguments he was having with his wife, who worried about everything. And at the end of the day, I was just extraordinarily curious about it. So I started to study it. And it's taken me all around the world. I've worked on four continents with 4,000 people, and I just talked to them about what they worry about. And so over time, you learn quite a bit about it. And it's, in fact, for me, it's a fascinating topic. So it's been easy. It is a, a fascinating topic. So after you wrote the book, like people who read this, I guess warriors who read this, right. what do you hope they, they walk away from? Like, what was, what's one of the big goals that you hope to accomplish with this? I want them to be able to reclaim what's in their head, to own what's in there. Uh, worry, what you choose to worry about is very much a personal choice. So what I try to explain in the book is, look, it's normal to worry. Everybody does it. What you worry about comes and goes. But there's a right way and a wrong way to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And so, so I go through the teaching process of that and then offer some suggestions and then a couple tips uh, to help people from backsliding into bad habits. Okay. Now, you've created seven cardinal rules to worry cycle management. I want to go through a circle, few of these. Circle, circle, circle. Circle, circle. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's go through some of them. Okay. So you've got to drink Kool-Aid. Come on. Well, explain the Kool -Aid, that Well, the Kool-Aid, what I mean is you have to decide that this is important to you and you want to get better at it. Right? Okay. And there's the right things and there's wrong things to worry about. And so what I really would like people to do is take a sense of ownership for us. Because if we don't look out for ourselves, who's going to look out for us? Right. Right? There you so go. So that's the first thing. Now right? let's go to uh, bring that up again. Balance all of your three heads. Yeah, everybody's got three heads. And what I mean by that is one, one head is preoccupied by, by uh, how important it is, uh, how we appear to others. Mm -hmm. The second one is how do we appear to others? You know, how, you know, how vital is that to us? But the third head is who are we really deep down? Your power and your strength is going to come from that third head, knowing who you really are. And uh, a lot of people got caught up, especially when the economy was booming, they got caught up in that first and second head. How do I want to appear to other people? Right. And am I coming across all that? And uh, they create great conflict. So that's an important one to, to manage. And I think we have time for one more. We find in life what we look for. Right. If, if uh, you look for what's good in a situation, a person, a relationship, or a job, that's what you're going to find. If you look for what's wrong about it or what's broken, that's what you're going to find. And those things, of course, will lead you to too much worry. Ocean, fascinating book, fascinating topic, managing the worry circle. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we'll have uh, a link to that um, and more information on our website at cbs4denver.com.